Well, this evening we're hearing from the husband of a Tampa attorney who was found dead in her Ruskin home two weeks ago. The sheriff's office calls the mysterious death of Lisa Westbury an active criminal investigation, but as of now hasn't said how she died. Lisa's husband says the wait for answers is taking a toll on him and their two children. And he spoke to Fox 13's Gloria Gomez. Hi. These are the last images of Lisa Westbury alive. Hours later, she would be dead. Lisa's husband, Dustin Westbury, says he and his two children are devastated over her sudden death. Are you hoping to find out what happened to her? I want to know. I'm desperate to know. I got to know. I got, I got to tell my kids something. Dustin and Lisa have two children. She also balanced motherhood with a successful career as a defense attorney. But to the world, my wife was a hero without a cape. On the evening of June 4th, Lisa was found dead in her bedroom at her Ruskin home. Police reports show her lifeless body was discovered by her 13-year-old son. Records reveal there was a bloody wound near her mouth. One deputy described it as, quote, a gunshot wound on Lisa Westbury's mouth. Another responding deputy described it as a possible gunshot wound but no gun was found near her body. However, a detective on the scene believed it looked more like the gash came from one of the family guard dogs and potentially passed from natural causes or a drug overdose. The medical examiner says the case is under criminal investigation and cause and manner of death is still pending. Dustin says the two had a good marriage and there were no recent fights or arguments between them. So you would never hurt your wife? Never. Not in a million years. You wouldn't not cause, in, not, you wouldn't no. drug her, you wouldn't shoot her? No, not in a million years. I just want them to do their job, figure out how she died. But until that happens, the mystery surrounding her death goes on. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. Dustin Westbury also told deputies about two guns that were stored in the garage, but he says investigators did not take them. He says he has fully cooperated with the investigation.